going on, everyone? Rabbit here with a rabbit guide to linking up the pro hashing. So if you guys are curious how to hook up and mine using pro hashing mining pool, this is the guide for you. So we're going to start right with the basics. Go to help getting started. Number one is signing up. So be sure to hit the description, hit the referral link in the description there to start signing up. You will get a 0.5% bonus to your first month of mining to pro hashing. On top of, I'll receive about a 0.2% bonus on whatever your type of earnings are. So keep that in mind. I'm getting a little bit out of it, but you are getting more out of it. So next step is adding your payment options. I'll kind of go through this later on in the video to show you how it's, what it's all about. But you can add a bunch of your different crypto wallets here and choose how you want to get paid out and what percentage you want to get paid out in. Step number three is connecting your miner. I will be going through all this for you guys, but there's also a quick start here. So I'll run through that. Here is the stratum you're going to want to use and then your algorithm port number. So this does support multiple algorithms. We are going to be showcasing script because of the app miner L3 plus that I have also utilizing Hive OS through the Hive on ASIC firmware. So I'm going to be using script. You can see the port is 3333. Uh, we got x11 we got sha 256 we got kapow chia random x which is for cpus that's your monero uh we got eth hash low memory etc hash x11 x17 skein you know all sorts of various algorithms here that you can use so you can use gpus on pro hashing as well as your cpus if you want random x for monero as well so we're going to go in and set up our worker now so in tools worker configurator we're going to start at the top if you start from the bottom and work your way up then everything starts changing on you uh, so we're going to pick bitmain here because this is an app miner l3 plus we're going to find our l3 plus wherever it is here you can see all the different asics they have listed so try to pick the one that has the closest mega hash to you so i'm the 504 it's pick script 504 the mega hash you can manually change your settings as well if you want for your hash rate you can see i just did that so we're just going to go back to 104 there uh, mining method you can pro switching that's by default that's your mu uh, multiple mining a whole bunch of coins getting paid out in whatever certain coin you want you can also pick static coins so if i want to directly mine litecoin only i would pick that option but i'm doing the pro switching we're switching trying to get you know the most that we can get here uh, you can pick your mining mode default is your fpps here uh full pay per share you can pick solo or PPLNS type of operations. I'm just going default. Here's where you put your worker name. So I'm going to put like at miner L3 and then your group name. So if you have a whole bunch of ASICs coming in, you know, some for Bitcoin, some for script and whatever you can name, like example, this would be script or, you know, if you want your mining Bitcoin or something, you put in Bitcoin that way you could kind of keep track of your group of certain miners that you have going together or, you know, GPUs for ethos. You can track your electricity if you want. You can set static and minimum difficulties and then you work refresh mode defaults is just work difficulty off you can just kind of play with that and if you're located in europe make sure to click this button obviously i'm not now this is everything you need to actually set up so your connection url with the port so again we've seen 3333 three, 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 that's for script algorithm and then the stratum is always the same for them all it's the port that determines the coin you're going to be mining Username, this is what you're going to need to use for your username, which we'll get to when we get to Hive OS. And then you need your password. So you have to have all this stuff in there or your miner will not connect to the pool. So I'm going to show you the payout section now so you can kind of have an idea of how everything works. So you're mining whatever you have it set up to mine. Now, this is how you can pick out your payment options. So you can add a new payout option, pick any coin you want. So out of any one of these coins, this is what you can get paid out in. So if I want to be mining, you know, Litecoin, the script algo, all the coins along the script algorithm and profit switching and get paid out in Ravencoin, I would choose Ravencoin. I would prove TerraCoin or Tether. So, you know, your stable coins, whatever, pick whatever you want. You can get paid out in the Uniswap token if you want. But we're going to go back here. Once you pick whatever you want, obviously, you got to put in your wallet address. You can see I have multiple ones here. I have Cardano, Dogecoin, and Litecoin. I have 100% set to Dogecoin, which means everything I'm coming is getting paid out in Dogecoin. So I can set this to 50 and say Cardano 50, and everything will be divided 50-50 between Cardano and Dogecoin. And once you hit the minimum payouts for each, obviously, Cardano is going to take a lot longer. But then you will get paid out, you know, in both coins. So you can set a percentage for each. So I can go like 20% here, 
20% here, 20% here, and just, you know, add a couple more coins. You get 20% across five coins and slowly build a mixed bag of different coins. There are minimum fees here. So if you go to your custom payout, you can see you can take the minimum, but your minimum will charge you a little. So you can get paid as little as one doge, but there will be an estimate of 0.00. .00 three six three nine nine dogecoin so there's a little fee in there you can just pick the free here and you can see now you need at least 22 coins to get a free transaction to your wallet so i always recommend the free option you want to keep as much as you possibly can or you want to just set it and forget it hit the maximum amount it'll take a little while to hit that but you know you can just get you know a long payout throughout each threshold obviously every coin is different as you can see here if we go into cardano cardano uh the queue this up so if we go to the minimum here you can see that this is actually costing you a fair bit more to get paid out in but if you go to free we're gonna need at least 90 so 75 dollars worth so cardano payments are gonna take a lot longer than dogecoin payments but you know depending on the coin you want to get paid out in everything will vary so make sure to keep an eye on this stuff and each one does have a minimum free and maximum type of operation here another way to get a mining bonus per se is to actually kyc yourself and register and verify your account i did do this uh crypto taxes are becoming a thing everywhere so you know if you want to stay on kyc that's totally up to you but you will get a bonus so if i click on trusted mining you can see i'm kind of grayed out here because i don't want you guys to see my real name and stuff but we can pick algorithm here we're going to scroll down i'm going to pick script you can see i'm getting a 1.5 percent bonus from being verified on their trusted miner program so this adds a little more to your profitability when mining to this pool as well now there's one thing i do kind of want to point out here as you can see for fpps on pro hashing it's 3.99 percent so those added percentage bonuses that you may be getting are probably just coming off of the pool fees itself. I'm assuming, I don't know for sure, but it kind of makes sense. And it looks like if you swap the PPLNS, you're only at 1.9%. So with all my bonuses, I may be down around the 0% mark. So this is fairly profitable. Like I said, I did previous pool tests and pro hashing was more profitable than, you know, pretty much all these pools above it, except for Litecoin pool. And I do see Litecoin pool is 0% so i don't know i plan on doing some more pool testing in the future right now this is a pro hashing guide but pro hashing does seem to be more profitable than like pooling f2 pool and everything due to previous tests i did do in the past but i have noticed litecoin pool to be the most profitable again that was quite a few months ago so i don't know if it's still the same thing so i will be swapping over to litecoin pool later on and doing another test here but right now i just thought it'd be interesting to point out the percentages here where this is four percent at what i am currently using and then pplns is down to only 1.9 and then just want to double check on that the bonuses you're getting are probably coming off the percentages of the pool fees itself all right so now we're going to set up our miner and here is the hive on firmware if you're unfamiliar with it you, they have it for s17s t17s l3s s10s s9s t9 pluses and i have heard down the grapevine they are working on a10 so a10s may get more efficient so look at like s9 for example let's take a look at this it says up to 19.1 terahash for an s9 we'll scroll down kind of look through their power plans they have 8.8 terahash for only 680 watts you know 11.8 for 980 all the way up to 16.8 terahash at 1550 watts obviously the higher you go the less hash to watt ratio you do receive but we're not dealing with bitcoin or anything we're using l3 plus and you can see up to 720 mega hash so i'll show you the overclocking profiles but this is what i'm currently using 504 mega hash at 660 watts remember default settings straight out of the factory and using normal firmware on this you're at 504 mega hash but utilizing 800 watts so you are saving 140 watts using hive on asic firmware on top of getting uh antivirus software with it as well here i am inside my actual app miner l3 plus i'm just going to go through the overclocking profiles right quick here we can scroll right here and you can see default that's your stock parameters that's your 504 mega hash at 800 watts I do have the 660 at 504 mega hash applied. I can 100% confirm I hooked this to 120 volt to my watt meter 
and it is indeed exactly 660 watts and you're still at 504 mega hash and now ultimately i can poke this thing up to 720 mega hash but utilizing 1300 watts keep in mind the higher you go the less efficient it becomes also the more heat will be produced so to actually set this up we're going to look into my flight sheet so we can see we've got litecoin set up here the wallet is litecoin the pool we're going to configure in the miner all this is done in the miner so we're going to set up our miner config and you can see wallet and worker name template unlike gpu mining and stuff where you're just going to like flex pool or something you would use wallet and worker template if you're pointing your gpus or anything here you do got to do it this way so your account is mine is rabid mining the pool 333 is the port here that is for script algorithm so we got a prohashing.com uh 3333 for the port and then the password and everything they give you which is right here you just copy this right click copy and you're just gonna slam that straight into here now this is the one i'm currently using but you would paste that into your password that's it you apply your changes and then obviously you'd update it you cancel it you'd hit the little rocket ship here wait probably anywhere from one to three minutes and you should start sending shares to the pool there we go so you should be up and mining to pro hashing now so i'm just going to go through the coins i have currently been mining here so we are mining with the app miner l3 plus on script you can see all the various coins because we did choose that pro switching so we can see litecoin here mooncoin digibyte uh dingo coin dogecoin uh here's public in what is that public index network so all the different coins you keep mining you can see it's all accepted and because i'm choosing 100 percent doge payments everything is getting swapped in the doge coin into my wallet when i do hit that threshold so this is how pro hashing kind of works remember you can mine static if you want as well so i could mine straight out litecoin if i wanted to do and get paid out like or get paid on litecoin get paid on doge dogecoin get paid on whatever you want but we're doing the profit switching right now and it's looking fairly profitable there we are guys so if you are having any issues at all let me know in the comments below or be sure to join the discord link is in the description as well join the discord ask the questions if you're curious about anything at all we also have new coins we're trying out everything going on so there's a nice friendly community so come hang out with us over there as well and i'll see you guys on the next one rabbit out